Welcome to Waters World. I'm Jesse Waters. Fireworks flying on Capitol Hill this week between conservative commentator Candace Owens and California Congressman Ted Lieu at a hearing on hate speech. The exchange becoming the most viewed C-SPAN Twitter video for a House hearing ever. Nearly 6.8 million views. Watch the whole thing. I don't know Miss Owens. I'm not going to characterize her. I'm going to let her own words do the talking. So I'm going to play for you the first 30 seconds of a statement she made about Adolf Hitler. I agree. I, I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets, uh, the definition gets poisoned. Um, by uh, elitists that actually want globalism. Globalism is what I, what I don't want. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in, at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German. Uh, Ms. Owens, I'm sorry. We just started a recording. Um, would you like time to respond to that? Yes, um, I think it's pretty apparent that uh, Mr. Liu believes that black people are stupid and will not f uh, pursue the full clip in its entirety. He purposely presented an extract, an extracted witness, clip. The witness absent. will suspend for a moment. It is not proper to refer disparagingly or with, to a member of the committee. Uh, the witness will not do that again. The witness may continue. Sure, even though I was called despicable. Um, the witness may not refer to a member of the committee as stupid. I didn't refer to him as stupid. That's not what I said. That's not what I said at all. You, you didn't listen to what I said. May I continue? Please. As I said, he is assuming that black people will not go pursue the full two-hour clip. And he purposefully extracted, he cut off, and you didn't hear the question that was asked of me. He's trying to present as if I was launching a defense of Hitler in Germany, when in fact, the question that was asked of me was pertaining to whether or not I believed that Hitler was a, whether or not I believed in nationalism, and that nationalism was bad. And what I responded to was that I do not believe that we should be characterizing Hitler as a nationalist. He was a homicidal, psychopathic maniac that killed his own people. A nationalist would not kill their own people. That is exactly what I was referring to in the clip, and he purposely wanted to give you a cut-up similar to what they do to Donald Trump to create a different narrative. That was unbelievably dishonest, and he did not allow me to respond to it, which is worrisome and to tell you a lot about where people are today in terms of trying to drum up narratives. By the way, I would like to also add that I work for Prager University, which is run by an Orthodox Jew, and a single Democrat showed up to the embassy opening in Jerusalem. I sat on a plane for 18 hours to make sure that I was there. I'm deeply offended by the insinuation of, of revealing that clip without the question that was asked of me. Wow. Here with the reaction, communications director for Turning Point USA, Candace Owens. First of all, Candace, congratulations on the engagement. We are all very Thank happy you. for you. Thank you very much. Let's see the ring. Ah, okay. I've never done this before. Now everybody <laughs> has seen it in the world right here on Waters World. There it is. <laughs> There's the debut. All right, well, first of all, nice performance up there on Capitol Hill. I know it could get a little crazy, but everybody tuned in for it, and uh, it, it was just bananas up there. So nice work getting your point across. I do want to read what you said, and then you can explain, I guess, how this guy, Ted Lieu, is taking it out of context. You did say... If Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is he had dreams outside of Germany. And so everybody's latching on to that comment. Uh, what was the context there? Oh, it was a two-hour discussion, and what we were talking about in, in various parts was about globalism and nationalism. And the w woman who had asked me a question basically said, uh, nationalism is now viewed as a very dirty word. How do us patriots um, sort of reclaim that word? And what I was responding to her is that the reason why it's considered a dirty word is because it's wrongly conflated with Hitler, when Hitler was not, in fact, a nationalist. Now, if I had known that this clip was going to be uh, pulled three months later from BuzzFeed on a hunt to try to put something nasty about me, I would have been much clearer in my response. But it was over a two-hour course of a conversation. I was basically just saying that Hitler was by no means a nationalist. He wasn't focused on just Germany. He was killing his, the German people. He was a homicidal maniac. So what Ted Lieu did was an incredibly dirty trick. And in my opinion, it undermines not only Amer the American people, but especially uh, black Americans. That entire hearing was about how there's a looming threat in black America.
Right. And you, you made that point about how you thought that he thought that black Americans weren't smart enough to find the full context. And the chairman, Nadler, didn't even know what you said. I don't even think he was paying attention. One of the problems is, is that whenever you use Hitler in an analogy or bring him up as a part of an argument for argument's sake, it always is then seized upon by political em enemies or people that don't even understand the context, and then it's used against you. So I would never, if this is just my advice, I would never bring up Hitler at all, ever, right. uh, in a political right. context, in any sort of debate, because it's never going to go well. So I just don't do it. And I think right. you and probably actually, know really that by good now. that's really advice. I, yeah, I obviously learned this lesson the very hard way. It's probably good advice. But the other side of this, though, is that it is it is bizarre now. It, it's one thing when they try to do this to white people and try to paint them as white nationalists. I am a black female, okay? <laughs> it's very bizarre it to is. try to paint me as someone who would support Hitler, right? So, right. And, and I agree with you, and now I'll never, I'll never, because they're out to get me all the time, I'll be very careful in how I describe things. But it does also showcase the black Americans how desperate the left has become, how desperate Democrats have begun, become when they're trying to smear and libel a black American w woman as someone that would ever support a homicidal maniac that murdered six million Jews. Uh, so it, in that way, it, it kind of helps get out what I'm trying to teach them, which is that Democrats use racism, sexism, and anti-Semitism anti as themes to simply go after their political opponents. They do not care about any of us. Yeah, it's kind of just gross that Ted Lieu would accuse a, a black woman of being uh, racist or a white nationalist. It actually, it doesn't even make sense, but I, I I really, he's not a really serious person, in my opinion. Um, he's, he's a strange person, uh, but he's always just trying to create controversy. He, he's a radical partisan. Um, and and he, that was a stunt that he pulled. It was a, that was a cheap stunt that he pulled. And he thought it would work, but it didn't work. Um, so way to, you know, be on your feet when it comes to that stuff. Um, I think you were probably nice to him. Uh, I would have been a lot meaner if he had tried to pull that stunt on me. But Candace, again, uh, it's tough out there, but, uh, but, you know, you're right on the front line. So uh, I think a lot of people on that side appreciate it. And um, any last words for Ted Lieu? Yeah, Ted Lou, I just want to know why I wasn't granted the courtesy of your party, which is hashtag believe women. Where did that happen? I thought this was the party that wanted to uplift minority voices, and they were so concerned about sexism and women. I'm a black woman. What happened to the policy of hashtag just believe women? Yeah. That's what I would say to Ted. It was an act of cowardice. It's one thing yeah. to present the video. To not allow me to respond to it shows you that they are ultimately cowards, and they're fearful because let me tell you something, and I'll say this prediction right now. The black vote is cracking. We are getting tired of the victim narrative. We are getting tired of not speaking about the real issues facing our community and trying to get us to believe in the boogeyman, the myth yeah. of white supremacy on the rise. That's something that's keeping us back. All right. Candace Owens, there she is, the most watched clip ever on C-SPAN. Candace, thank you.